Thank you for staying with us. Parasocial relationships are one-sided relationships where one person extends emotional energy, interest, and time, and the other party, the persona, is completely unaware of the other's existence. Now, when we relate this to the current impact of celebrities on Gen Z culture, several questions are raised. My first one being, why? Why do we idolize and care so deeply for people that do not even know us? Why do we allow them to influence our lifestyle so heavily? From what we wear, to what we eat, to how we structure our days. Why are we so enamored by people who do not even know we exist? Let's talk about it. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-803-84663 and follow us on all our social media platforms. So, why? <laughs> <laughs> I read somewhere about erotomania. Mm -hmm. So this is essentially like delusion. Like delusion. <laughs> yes, delusion. I feel like that word has <laughs> been <laughs> thrown wow. around recently. It's delusion. It's when you think someone, you just have an idea of someone mm. that you don't even know. It's when you think someone's better than they are or worse than they are. It's also why like cancer culture is a thing. We, mm. we form relationships with people that we don't even know. We form opinions of people that we don't even know. That they can't even defend themselves on. And then you start shouting, I'm so disappointed in you. <laughs> you know, I, how could you do this to me? You have broken my heart. And they're like, who are you? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's like, we put celebrities on such a high pedestal mm. that when they just make a simple mistake, oh, exactly. this person is cancelled, I can't believe they did that. <laughs> it's <also> cancer. <laughs> like, my kid is watching you, look at what you're doing. No, but like yesterday we were talking about how people need to recognize the power that they have. The second you are giving a platform like that. Like you can literally say that, oh, rubbing blue band butter on your face every night can clear all your pimples forever. And people will realistically start doing that. Yeah. So I think it's understanding the power that you possess. But at the same time, let's look at it from the other perspective. Why are you allowing somebody to tell you how to live your life? Where did that even come from? I think that happens because of low self-esteem. Yeah, that's a that's a. So like ninety percent of the world right now has no self-esteem. No, no. Well, like maybe because but, yeah. because of the pedestal they put yeah. the um celebrities they adore on, mm. they maybe admire some qualities they yeah. have. So they're like, mm. if they're telling me to put blue band on my face and they have such clear skin, then why yeah. do you no, put the blue band? No, I I, I, I put the blue band. I see that. And you know, um, I was thinking about this topic while I was having breakfast, and I was also looking at it from the perspective of escapism, right? Mm -hmm. You feel like, oh, my life is so boring. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm applying to university. I'm being very personal with this one right now. <laughs> I'm applying to university, and I have essays to write. I have things to submit. But listen, look at these people getting ready for the Met Gala. I just want to like be them for a day. You know, watch the Get Ready With Me videos, the yeah. day in my life, yeah. what's in my bag. But do you guys think that this is healthy? No matter how normalized it is. It is not is. healthy. Yeah. I feel like it has been normalized. But then, number one, it could have like such negative effects on mental health. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also like eating. Because then if you see a celebrity, um, maybe skinny or like a particular body type you admire, mm -hmm. you're going to be like, I'm not going to eat this. I'm not going to eat that. Some people do that. And it takes mm -hmm. a toll on their mental health. You feel me? Yeah. 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 It's just like how... Celebrities control the beauty standard. 100%. That is so true. Yeah. 100%. Let's talk about Kim Kardashian. Like, mm. It seems that whatever she does, everyone else follows suit. 100%. Like, yeah, like when we were just thinking about it and you said that the second she got everything <laughs> moved, that's when we went back into the... Skinny girl. Like yeah, that. you know, so... Like, it's just going back to when you possess that much power, what exactly are you going to do with it? But then, how exactly can we come to a point of awareness where we realize that, okay, listen, maybe I am too invested in these people. How do I become more content with my life and make this adoration maybe healthier, you know? Um, I feel like there was something my mom always used to tell us. Um, why do we keep watching people on TV when mm. we can be the people they're watching on TV? Mm. So what instead of sitting around, you know, admiring people, hoping to be them, why not go out there and be someone people admire to be? Yeah. Feel, yeah. yeah. So it gets just planning and yeah. yeah. And you have to make that decision within yourself, like, okay, yeah. I need to be the person on the other hand of the admiration. Exactly. Not the person giving the admiration. Definitely. Yeah. And you know what? Like these typically seeing people thrive, seeing people succeed should be some kind of motivation, should it not be? It should yeah. be. But then like like Adora mentioned before, social media and you know, getting to look at what's in my bag, day in my life, kind of makes you live vicariously through them. Yeah. So you kind of feel content in your position, 
because you're like, oh, at least I'm living this double life where I am Beyonce, where I am, <laughs> <laughs> I am That's in fact Kim Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, it's just very interesting. But to take this conversation to a more solution-driven, you know, direction, apart from you know using big terms like we just need to look intrinsically. How exactly do you think that we as a generation can detach ourselves from this? You know, we can't, we're not going to stop using technology. You guys can't tell me to stop using my phone. I'm not going to stop. But how can we look at these videos and recognize that, listen, these people don't know who I am, so I should not be acting like they're my best friends. How do we admire them but still remain true to ourselves? You I know? think it's prayer. I think it's God. Prayer. <laughs> it's God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> End of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I think we also have to introduce be like better role models, mm -hmm. like like locally, because a lot of people look at it internationally. They're yeah. like, oh, I want to be like Beyonce. I want to be like Rihanna. But we don't really talk about the people around us. So we just have to be better motivators to our younger ones better motivators to the ones people around us 100%. yeah and we also need to look at these people didn't just wake up and, and become, beca mm. she became beyonce mm. they had to fight they went through trials and tribulations yeah so it's like fight. look at the background work and everything yeah. and motivate yourself you know be prepared to do the same thing i 100 percent agree so now let's look at parasocial relationships in themselves what do you guys you i defined it before we looked at the quote what do you guys think about it? I feel like parasocial relationships, you know how they're like one-sided relationships? Yeah. It's like people have this illusion that the person on the receiving, is it the receiving hand? The celebrity, <laughs> let's just see celebrities. <laughs> the celebrities um, somehow know them or like are friends with them because mm. they like have this sense of, oh, I know you through your vlogs, I know you through your Instagram page, yeah. when you really don't really know them yeah. personally. Yeah. Like, the Instagram pages are just fragments of their lives. Yeah. yeah. Of you, see, lives. you see a little glimpse, and you're like, this person is my best friend. Exactly. Yeah. And I know this, but they will never do this. They'll never step yeah. out of a character like you never, this. You don't actually know the people. That's a really Exactly. Really people do realise that it has such a negative effect on the celebrities themselves. Some people are like, oh, maybe the celebrities don't care, because I, I mean, I'm famous, I'm getting clout. But sometimes, it could be really scary for them because it could lead to stalking it could lead to many like yeah. traumatizing things for them but at the same time they can't address it because they don't want to hurt the fans who actually made them and like took them to where they are right now so they're just constantly dehumanized yeah they're not allowed to have their own emotions or anything along the lines of that i 100 percent agree but now not to play the blame game do you think that we can say that it's their fault for over glamorizing their lives or what would you say about that? No, I don't think so. Like, if, even celebrities are not, like, as social media present. Mm -hmm. They still have fans. They still have people that care so much about their lives. Yeah. It seems once you grow an audience, you just, you just like, yeah. there's nothing you can really do about it. Dude. But then what about the people that, you know, like you even mentioned in terms of, like, body image, um, how they control the um, body standards, you know, doing what I eat in a day and, it's like, one almond and you know water and that is what you have eaten <laughs> in that whole day so i do think that to a certain degree they can be held responsible mm -hmm. for you know making it toxic yeah but i don't think 100 percent. so what do you guys think mm -hmm. not necessarily 100 i think it's really what you make of it because some people it dep i feel like it's on both sides because mm -hmm. at the same time they are celebrities who do um who make their page and their like platform to like motivate people, mm -hmm. like self care, I don't know, body image, positivity, stuff like that. But also, if you see someone eating one almond a day and water a day, although it might make you feel like, okay, am I really fat? Am I really not doing what's right? At the same time, you could take a step back and think that like, is it that deep? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, and then when you copy them, if you cannot cook on one almond a day, you have to eat. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Um, apart from that, though, I think that now, since we were talking in the last episode yesterday, we're talking about how easy it is right now for anybody to have a platform. You know, you can hold your phone. I can take my phone right now, take a selfie, and be like, yeah, follow me on my journey, doing the teen takeover, being your fabulous teenage host. And, you know, I'll just blow like that. And just like that, you know, it's not just regular old Yasmin, it's celebrity Yasmin. Yeah. So I think we should also address how important it is for you, you know, as more young people get 
more platforms, um, I think it's important to realize the power that you hold and realize the impact that you can make on the younger generations or your peers or even the older generation. Because I've seen comment sections and I've seen people being like, I'm 40 years old and I cry when I watch your videos. I love <laughs> listening to your stories about your love life. You never know who you're engaging. You never know who you're impacting. You never know how much you truly mean to these people, if you understand. And I think it might be frightening to a certain degree, mm -hmm. having someone so invested in your life. But have you guys heard of how they named a church after Beyonce? Stop. Pardon? I <laughs> promise you, it's no. called the Beyonce Mass. And they sing her song as like a worship, I think. Oh I mean, I'm not judging, but... <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that is interesting. interesting. Yeah. Very the funny interesting. thing is Beyonce is still worshipping her own God while they're worshipping her. Oh, yeah. No, like, I mean, the wait, general God. Is that, is that like... Okay, wait, because we, we, I feel like there's so much to unpack there. <laughs> so it's like singing Beyonce songs. Yeah. Like, and it's just so like... They are idolizing Beyonce. It's gotten to a point where like it's really terrifying. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> oh my that God. is very, very <laughs> interesting. <laughs> That's very interesting. Um, so I, I do not want to talk about Swarm on TV because my parents will know that I know of Swarm. But yes, I have <laughs> seen clips <laughs> of Swarm. But yeah, that was basically just a representation of everything that we're talking about, right? I don't know if you guys have watched it or even heard of what it's about. Not at all. Are you serious? No. no. Am I going to be the one introducing you? Yes. Okay, thank God this is on live TV. <laughs> um, so, it's, <laughs> so it's basically this show about this girl that is very obsessed with this celebrity. People have conspiracy theories about who the celebrity in question is, but, you know, we can talk about that after the show. But, yeah, and she does very crazy things, very scary things, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I guess you could say it's very exaggerated because mm -hmm. it's on our screens. But, guys, we don't know what's going on. Because yeah. there are some people that are doing yeah. really yeah. ridiculous things all in the name of a celebrity. Yeah, you're yeah. yeah. going to hate me for this analogy. <laughs> Is it marble? I can guess it's marble. It's not marble. Because <laughs> if it's marble. It's Eminem. <laughs> oh, gosh. No, because you have been talking about this all day. You know what we're doing on makeup. <laughs> <laughs> so, essentially, Eminem, like, in 2002, mm -hmm. made a song called Stan. That's where it originated that word. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it essentially means <laughs> mind blown. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> That's my friend's favorite song. Oh Are you serious? Gosh. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it means stalker fan. And people have reclaimed it. Like I'm a BTS dad. And it's, it's crazy and I how. I see it with pride as well. Yeah. Like Eminem is legit told about all the bad parts of the, having these several fans. And they're just it's like, like yeah. And I'm like yeah. Yeah. I'm an Eminem stan. <laughs> but I'm like literally just called everyone out for being a stan. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's overdone now. Yeah, it is. But guys, I, I don't know why. I feel like I just feel the need to let it out and confess that I might be a Marvel stan. Might? I, oh my god. Well, it's, 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 it's understandable. It's Marvel. It's, 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 no, you. it's Marvel. Thank you. I can tell you right now, if I like say anything negative about Marvel, Yasmin slapped me I one day. <laughs> she slapped me. Yeah, for Very stan. playfully and lightly. Yeah. As she should be. <laughs> oh because it's Marvel. That's why parasocial. Can we like link this to how parasocial <laughs> relationships can lead to bullying and harassment? <laughs> the second you say one bad thing about a celebrity you love, it's game over. It is. It's just yeah. the end. It is. No. But honestly, it is very terrifying. And like I said before, it's escapism. You guys, sometimes life gets a bit too tough. And I'm like, I'm going yeah. to go be a superhero for yeah. a day. I'm going to go save the world. With the OG six, my favorite people on the entire planet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because oh, oh, okay. So my friend, like she's a summer walker fan, she said that she finds comfort in her songs, mm -hmm. that she has gotten her through so many stuff. And just like at the other on the other hand, like a lot of people like find peace in Yeah, the, use it as therapy. Yeah, they find peace with celebrities. Mm -hmm. And celebrities are doing a good thing out there. You shouldn't put your yourself I don't know how to describe it. You shouldn't rely on You them. shouldn't rely on the celebrity because yeah. that's putting pressure on yourself and the celebrity. Exactly. Because if the celebrity messes up now, they're going, going to control your emotions and yeah. how you feel. Yeah. yeah, it's really unhealthy. Yeah. And I feel like it's so easy because right now, like, it's so easy to come here and be like, everybody that's obsessed with these celebrities, they're crazy. Like, you guys need to, like, stand up, okay? Stop being so. But then, like, I feel like we've done it as well. I know Adora is obsessed with it. I know Ad Still, are you still? 
Or is it you were an Eminem an Eminem <laughs> star? <laughs> Great star. I had my Brenner boy phase, oh, I will not lie to you. I love that. I love that. I got so many arguments with Yasmin. No, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I had my Brenner boy phase. Wait, can we take a moment to appreciate how I am not a victim to any parasocial relationship? Okay, I'm go- okay so before right. this episode ends, I am going to call you out. <laughs> I feel like I'm just going to let oh, that yeah, slide. Oh oh I feel like I'm just going to let that slide, Conan Gray. Conan oh. Gray, no, he is... <laughs> <laughs> she he is cute looking, but, but I, I'm not like obsessed with him. I know that he doesn't know me, you know? Yeah. Okay, we see. No, it's noted with thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that, that part is indeed noted with thanks. But yeah, this isn't in any way judging. This is a productive conversation it is. where we talk about how we can make this love of celebrities more healthy, you yeah. know, less terrifying yes. and less obsessive. Obsessed, thank you. You obs- took the words right, right out of my mouth. So, yeah, we've talked about um, working on your self esteem striving towards seeing the how and you know but then how exactly can you make it less of an escapism kind of thing how exactly can you you know not attach your happiness and your peace to a person because these are human beings they're going through their own problems they're going through their own struggles and then you see this person comes on instagram and um, does a video and talks about how you guys i know i've been a ray of sunshine but honestly i've been going through so much how do you detach yourself from that as Yasmin said, sorry, as Salma said, <laughs> it's a self-esteem problem. I just feel like you just need to love yourself more mm. and take time to yourself, like get to know yourself better. Because you can't rely on celebrities. They're going to, and imagine we rely on them for our own happiness. Who can they go to? They don't true. have celebrities to go to with all of this mm. stuff. So you just need to really reevaluate yourself and just be like, okay, to I love this person so much, but I need to love myself more. Oh, I like that. That's it. I love this yeah, person so much. But I need to like I need to love myself more. Yeah, that's that's a quote. That's the next quote. <laughs> so well, spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, but thank you guys so much. This was very, very insightful. We're going to go on a very short break right now and we'll be right back. We're just tuned in we are discussing parasocial relationships and the effects of celebrities on gen z culture please let's hear what you have to say remember you can join the conversation by sending us an sms or whatsapp to 081-803-84663 and because it's a special the phone line is going to be open all week so you can call us on 070 if you call, please remember to turn down the volume of the device so we don't get any feedback. Okay, so I think we've discussed parasocial relationships rather extensively. So let's move on to the effects, both positive or negative. So let's talk about, can we call Andrew Tate a celebrity? He's a, he's a, he's a, yeah. he's a celebrity. He has so much influence he does. nowadays. Okay, so... Um, Let's talk about the effect of that kind of celebrity in particular on Gen Z culture. Oh my god. Because <laughs> <laughs> so, Andrew Tate has deciphered the way to get talk to teenagers, essentially. Mm. He, he knows how to make little, like, younger ch- children. And what is like that? Him. He's like, he just, he acts like he knows what he's saying all the time. Mm. He acts like he's like an almighty person. Mm-hmm. That whatever Andrew Tate says, yeah, yeah, goes. he starts off with like general knowledge, like the truth, but then he like intertwines he, it with his own yeah. perspective and then he makes it make sense. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I feel, I feel you. I feel he you. makes it make sense. So everybody's eating it up. They're like, wow, that's, so <laughs> that's the and, truth. And it's also the way that Andrew Tate is like, Broadcasted everywhere. You can go on TikTok without seeing Andrew Tate, yes. exactly. and then you're Podcast. giving him more views, and then he's reaching yeah. a wider amount of people. Even if you're hate watching, you're still watching. So then yeah. he's still going to reach more yeah. people. I think that's just about how people enable these yeah. celebrities. Like if you didn't give Andrew Tate a platform in the first place, then we wouldn't be in this mess in the first yeah. place. And 
I think also because of like, you know how we're talking about like displaying your glamorous lifestyle, you know, he has like the cars, you know, what color is your yeah. gut? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody <laughs> wants to be him. Exactly. And, and people, why are people hating on him? I'm kind of confused. Why are people Where's hating? Where's the hate coming from? Have you watched an Andrew Tate video before? I have not. Okay. Oh, okay. But, <laughs> <laughs> I was a bit scared. <laughs> um, he's he says a lot of not very nice things, yeah, yeah. and given yeah. the platform that he has, it's not the best way to handle it. Yeah. He has a lot of young people that grasp on to everything he says and I guess it's just really destructive, you know, for him to be preaching that kind of knowledge onto their minds. Um so let's look at a positive effect. Does anybody uh, any positive? Any positive effect? Are we still talking about Angie Tate? I feel like just oh, for I'm... the sake of the well being and peace of the world we should just not associate the two of them. Let's look at a celebrity that's giving us a positive effect. Oh, okay. Mm. Are you serious? <laughs> Guys, <laughs> are you serious? But no, we have many. Yeah. What about um, Mahalia? Yeah, That's you see? One. Yeah. Who is Mahalia? Oh, okay, that's that that a a but who's Mahalia? Bag. She's like a human rights activist. Oh. No, that's Malala. Right? Wait, is it right? the YouTuber Mahalia? 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 Is it Malala or Mahalia? Malala. Ma Malala is the actual. Oh, Mahalia Malala. is the Malala, musician. Yeah. yeah, both of them are very good. Yeah, both really good. And they have really good influences on both people. Yeah. Sure. yeah. yeah. Um, we actually have a message. Yeah. Okay. Parasocial relationship is only mainly beneficial where the impact nudges the observer towards positive growth and behavior. What do you guys think? 100%, right? I do agree with that. Oh, there's no other way that I can be. There's no other way, but in a sense, do you think that parasocial relationships in themselves are even what can be perceived as positive? Yeah, because when you idolize, well, not when you idolize, <laughs> <laughs> when you look at somebody, you look at their lifestyle, you want to be them, and th they, you see them doing healthy stuff like talking publicly about mental health, you go and get the help that you need. In that sense, parasocial relationships are being beneficial. True. But okay, yeah. the question now is, should a celebrity be the one who's telling you That's ex that you need to do exactly. therapy? Because <laughs> at the end of the day, you're still yeah. putting that decision in their yeah. hands. Yeah. They still yeah. have still power. Relying on them. Yeah. So I don't really know. Um, I think that since why Nigeria? Let's just bring it home a bit, right? Let's look at some yeah. Nigerian celebrities. Can we speak on Naramadi? Oh. Naramadi. Narama <laughs> <laughs> Can we cheer on Mali? Because the amount of influence he has on Nigerians now, like the Malians and everything, mm -hmm. is quite alarming. I'm not hating <laughs> their Mali fans. Or no hate. Of no hate at all. But it's just that <laughs> Malians, at least the ones I know, if you disrespect Naramali in any way, shape, or form, that's they are the going end. to come for you. That's they the are going end. It's terrifying. True. No, because that's some true. fandoms are terrifying. Yeah. Some yeah. fandoms are absolutely terrifying. And also enabling bad behavior of people like even if you see the whole scandal that has happened with David Doe mm -hmm. and you know yeah. somebody does something that is just morally not right and you're still like ah, if David Doe has 10 fans then I am all of them if he has one fan then <laughs> <is> me. <laughs> if he has zero then I am dead <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like backing them to the end of time I personally do not think that parasocial relationships can be healthy in any kind of way because even if for one second this celebrity does something positive and you're inspired they are human beings and they still have a chance of messing up yeah you know and you shouldn't put that responsibility or that power on their shoulders you never know how things are going to end up going you know yep so we have a question coming in mm -hmm. how do you think parents can help with the different people who claim to you celebrities affecting their children I think my mom always says this thing, which is like, don't put yourself in the position of effect, put yourself in the position of being the cause. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So it's like, take control. Don't look at it as the celebrities are affecting my children. What am I going to do? Like, these celebrities are doing bad things, blah, blah, blah. I think it's more about. Inst oh, I'm so sorry, but we have a caller right now. Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. 
Hello. Hello. How are you? We're fine. Okay. This is the youngest old man. Oh. <laughs> oh back again. It's you so know, nice to like, hear from you I again. I really like listening to the Gen Zs. And let me just kind of understand the level of your understanding and what you really, what you really know and what you intend to know more. Uh, so I'm all up with my TV these days, watching you guys do your thing, and I really appreciate your efforts. Thank you so much. However, based on the topic today, um, I really think that most of the celebrities are not helping in that sense of um, what they are sending out to the society. Because, you see, these people have followers. And what they what they say, okay, for example, now the musics. I think I listened to one the other day. And I I tried to get the words. I tried to get the words. I need to get the translator. You know the languages these days are different. You understand? And some of them will come with some some local language to you see somebody mixing English and Yoruba to become a word. Mm -hmm. And you guys understand why we don't understand. Because in our days we listen more to conscious music, music that means sound from situations of today. You understand? But this time, people would just talk about how naked, how smoky, how destructive, and all these things. And even the pictures that they portray is so, is so, is so, uh, is so destroy, destructive to my eyes. Talk less of somebody that is still coming up. So basically, I see that my celebrities need Jesus in the sense that uh, they need to have what we call a kind of sedan talk. I don't really go into... I'm talking about the musicians, so don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Most of the actors are doing well. They act films. Like, you see some that they act films where they do rituals. And I don't, by the end of the film, again, before the film ends, they'll tell you that... They, they will show you that the repercussion of the ritual and how the person got into trouble and how he, he repented. If possible, they'll bring in one pastor to come and pray for one of the So some of the films do end well. But the music, man, the music are not helping issue. Because in a situation where you play a song and you're telling the younger child that you used to, you'll be showing yourself with gun, we're not Americans for goodness sake. We have culture. We have tradition. And basically, religion that we got from somewhere else, I don't really put that into perspective, but that's our culture, is something. You don't tell me, you, you don't bring a music into my parlor. It's playing, my kids are watching, and you are just displaying gun, naked women, and, and, and some of them will be showing their, their doctorated uh, um, um, you know, all this kind of stuff. So they are not helping because sometimes people do more what people do. They don't listen. Because that same week, they'll still go to church. The pastors will say good things and things that they need to do. But it's that one that they see in the TV that they pick more interest on. So I think the celebrities should be more conscious. You understand? You send your message positively, not negatively. Mostly, you see what people sing, and their airport is in their ear, 247. They listen to those words. Sometimes you hear somebody say, pa, 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 I shoot, doom, doom, doom. You know, what is that sense coming into? So basically, I think the celebrities, especially the musicians, need to be worked on. In fact, they need Jesus in the a perspective of sitting them and sitting them down and talking to them that look guys are destroying. And you know what funny thing? They think they are destroying other children, but those kids that they destroyed will still come back to destroy their own kids because they will become fathers one day and the thunder will fire back. That means they tell you, life, what goes around, comes around. So you guys should write to them, speak to them. In fact, play what I'm saying today for them to hear that what goes around, comes around. You can't destroy somebody's own and think your own will go free. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're, you're so much. much. He deserves a round of applause. Yeah, he does. <laughs> What goes around comes around. Yes. <laughs> About that, celebrities do things that are beneficial to them, that are, yeah. that bring profit. Mm -hmm. yeah. like, a lot, that's why a lot of people have like naked girls or like guns, because that's, that's what sells. Thing. Right it's now. what sells. Yeah. It's what's trending. And they normalize it. They make yeah. it seem so yeah. normal. Yeah. Exactly. And then. When you pick it up, you see it. You see kids nowadays drinking, Doing smoking, Doing, yeah. looking at things I don't want to see. Like, we need to stop. Yeah, all of that. we do need to stop. But then at the end of the day, do you think somebody like just woke up and was like, in my music video, I'm going to put like destruction and crack, 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 <laughs> and everything. And then, you know, and it wasn't selling. And then everybody still decided to do it. Obviously, people are consuming this. People are enjoying yeah. this. So there has to be a fundamental issue. There has to be a fundamental issue that's lying there that doesn't even 
solely have to do with the celebrities. I mean, obviously, there's a problem with people as well, right? Yeah. There's another caller. Hello? 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 Uh, the line is connected. Hello? 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 Oh, good evening. Good evening. Yes, my name is Boyega. I'm calling from Vegas. Boyega? Boyega. Boyega. Uh, Hello? Can you hear us? Yes. Uh, as well, I wanted to say that I thoroughly enjoy listening to you ladies speak. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I'm amazed at how much knowledge and how much informed you guys are. Thank you. It's fantastic. Um, when I was your age, I bet you that you didn't have this much exposure and this much self consciousness. So I really applaud you and this can be. My comment though on your on what you guys are talking about is I think it's more about your value system and I want to encourage that while you have so much um, in terms of role models out there, you might want to choose carefully mm -hmm. the ones that you want to... So not all of them are bad, right? There are some that will still be able to inspire you. So while you cannot categorize all of them in one bucket, why don't you choose carefully the people that you listen to, the kind of music, the kind of feedback you get from them. Um, and you might be surprised that there's still a lot of celebrities out there that are actually giving right information and feedback to this your generation. I think that would be my advice, but I would give kudos to you guys in terms of the knowledge you have, and please keep it up. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you so, so much. much. Thank you for calling. So, what do you guys think? I, I oh no, you go. <laughs> I think it's quite hard to find good role models on like social media sometimes mm -hmm, yeah. because what's at the top you see oh someone with their guns clap clap oh you'll see someone like oh doing this and doing that yeah it's really hard to find good role models you have to like deep dig deep deep yeah yeah, yeah. yeah and I think that Boyega was right in terms of you also need to remember your values mm -hmm. like when I leave my house my mom is always like oh like remember your values remember where you come from mm all of that and you also need to look at you look at yourself you have to look at yourself <laughs> because nobody can make this change for you you have to sit down examine yourself and be like okay these people that i'm looking at these celebrities that i so adore are they the best thing for me in this point in my life mm. are they really adding any value to my life 100 mm. percent. and back to the lyric thing mm. um Yes, I get nowadays, because it's trending, people tend to put um, more vulgar things in their song. But they're forgetting that they are popping artists who are trending off of seeing empowering things like Alicia yeah. Keys in yeah. her song, We Are Here. Yeah. Like, all the lyrics there talk about all the like problems happening around the country and everything. Talk about how we should sh be strong and everything. So I think that they are still a few artists who try to empower people and are still trending. So it just really depends which one you want to i'm like, so sorry to cut you off but we have a caller right now hello 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 yeah, hi who's this uh you guys are doing well then oh, wait is this alpha <laughs> <laughs> oh yes alpha hi alpha hello hello hi. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, so uh, the thing as you take responsibility for our own like, content that we consume, because if you want to say let's try to curtail the celebrities from putting out what they put out, sometimes you know that they are also products of their own specific situations. For example, there's this entire category of music called drill. And then in drill, it's created by these UK rappers that their entire life is like is surrounded by gang violence, mm -hmm. by selling of drugs and a lot of other vices that we know we don't want our children to see. So you can't exactly just say that because you don't want to see these kinds of things on your for you page on TikTok or whatever, 
you will now go and stop their own life from being what it already is. So you have to take the active measures yourself to be able to prevent yourself from becoming like these people or letting them like have an effect on you. 100%. Yeah, so that's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much for calling. <laughs> Thank you. I 100% agree with everything that he said. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's something that our mom says. She's really big on like the mind and the power yeah. of the mind. So then she says, um, my mind is a palace, and so I'm not going to let anybody come Crumble with their... Dirty feet in it. <laughs> she, she, she remembers. I do remember. We, like, I think it was really interesting that he talked about lyrics. I'm talking about young... Oldest, young, youngest old man. Yeah. When he called, when he talked about lyrics, we don't know how much we actually internalize the things that we listen to in when we're walking around. I can't study, I can't do anything without listening to music. Yes. So we don't know how much these lyrics actually like seep into our minds and influence how we think. How we... Oh, yeah. Well, I'll get back to that. We have a caller. Hello? Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello? Girls. Hi, Hi Hello, Okay, so it's real quick and short. Okay. Right? Just like everything in life, our social relationships relationships have like their pros and cons. Right? Yeah. It is very normal for us to feel relatable to people, especially like the like, same social side but, um, and it kind of like pull friends from people that we can relate to. But it's got to become unhealthy when you segregate that relationship. Like that relationship is more important to you than real life relationships. When you draw inspirations from them all the time, knowing that they may be leaving you on the wrong path, so it then becomes something. But I think our social relationships are like perfectly normal and they're very common. We're human and like we're naturally socially creatures, social creatures. And it's okay for us to feel relatable to someone that we think and, you know, can help us identify ourselves better. So we do know it's not for the start, right from wrong. So it's best that there's a person in the right way or this person is leading the wrong way. And then you just make a decision on whether it's the case is. Bye, girls. Bye. Thank you so much. Man. About that, I think we have to look at the different types of parasocial relationships. Hmm. So, what Miss Year one day would have probably been talking about is like entertained social parasocial relationships. Hmm. But there's like three stages there's the intense personal, and then there's like borderline set pathological. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, it just depends which category you're in. Like, yeah. I wouldn't say anyone should be in border, borderline pathological. Yeah, behavior. that one is like really obsessive. Yeah. Can you elaborate on um, borderline pathological? This is when you're obsessed. Obsessed. Like, you're, you're, yes. like to the level of stalking. Yes. That, that pathology. Mm. Yeah. You, you think so highly of them. Yeah. You actively look for them. Like that, those type of fans. Mm -hmm. I think having like an entertained social, that like you're entertained by the person, that's mm. fine. Yeah, that's completely normal. Yeah. 100%. So I think that from all the amazing people that have called so far, I think that there's been a common theme, which is that we have the power to actually change, you know? Um, as long as we're able to take control of our mind and understand that we have the power to choose what we consume. Um, we'll get back to that. We have a caller. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Uh, oh, okay. Um, so I wanted to say I wanted to talk about the parasocial relationships, and I believe that it depends on the person. Say if the relation, if the relationship between the person and the celebrity is negative or positive, because there are some celebrities who have positive effects on your viewers. I like to take the um, example of TK Akinbele, for example. Okay. I think because like she gives lectures to her viewers and she you know she talks to viewers and she says good things so she influences them positively. So I just wanted to say that like relation the practice relationship just depends on like how the celebrity will portray themselves. 
and how the viewers accept. Yes. Yeah. So. Thank you so much, Timmy. Um. So yeah, I 100% agree with everything that she said. So. I think we began this, I began by saying that um, parasocial relationships are negative in any way because they are obsessive and kind of terrifying. Yeah. But I think I might have misunderstood the definition in a way. It's not just being obsessed with someone. And as Adora perfectly explained, it's also being able to relate to people, being able to feel like you have someone that you can escape to or a life that can escape to for a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, just need to remember that we have the power to choose, right? Yeah. Okay, so before we go, do ensure you follow us on Instagram at WayShowAfrica. You can interact with us further, drop a comment, and most importantly, follow all our social media engagements. And remember to like, share, comment, and invite your friends and family to watch us and follow us. If you missed today's quote, here it is again. People have always been obsessed with celebrities. There are just more outlets and opportunities to make a living exploiting that obsession nowadays. Don Cheeto, who is one of my favorite actors in the MCU. See you tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. You're amazing. <laughs>